Sylvie Bouchard, I should say it in French, I guess. Um, what's my genre? Kind of contemporary dance. <laughs> kind of. After being with the Toronto Dance Theatre, dancing with the Toronto Dance Theatre and dance makers, and then some various independent choreographers, I began wanting to see what, what and how and why <laughs> I would um, create work or put movement together. I think what I discovered right away is that I was interested in, in some kind of narrative. I like that journey, and I think that stays even today. Even the journey may be more abstract sometimes, uh, and sometimes more um, defined, but I, I very much like some kind of narrative in, 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 the, in my work. In 1995, actually, I met uh, David Danzon, who's a theater, uh, who still is a theater artist, and we began collaborating um, on many pieces. The, from there we formed a company together and for eight years created works together. So um, a big part of my journey after that was collaborating with, with one artist and kind of uh, inventing a style that, that, that teetottered te <laughs> between dance and theater. And um, so that was very interesting for me to really go deep in one style. I think most often the idea comes in the studio with with the person that the people that I would be working with. La Gigue en Souvenir, actually, which is one of the uh, pieces that I most recently choreographed uh, for Dust Dances uh, Ontario tour, actually last summer, uh, with eight dancers. It was a big group piece done outside with picnic tables and everything. That was an idea that I had, that I've had for a long time, actually wanting to use the music of Les Charbonniers de l'Enfer and trying to see in myself what, because it's very much my culture. So I wanted to kind of see what would come up for me. When you perform in the park, you don't have the restriction of the stage and the lights to be able to define. Um, so you have to take the space in in a way that uh, in a way that is different. Like you you have to call for focus, keeping your concentration because things you know will distract you for sure uh, more than more than being on stage. I don't think I picked the characters. I think that they come. They're probably part of me somewhere or part of something I've seen. The work evolves very much like on my feet for me, on my feet in the studio, um, trying to be in it, be in with my body in it and see what is created from there.